Greetings everyone, the good tonight here. We're going to do a review on something I'm going to be using this very upcoming Sunday, and that is the ultimate in camouflage patterns, leopard print. Here we have the TMC little, uh, I guess they call it like navy combat shirt in leopard print, LP, which is the superior camouflage pattern, especially if you're going to be doing most of your battles in Victoria's Secret or near pumpkin spice lattes. So you get your little TMC sports gear. The only size they had available was large, but it does seem to be with an Asian sizing, so a large is basically an American medium. And here you have your classic made in China slave labor tag. So, with all that being said, I'm going to throw this over my current undershirt so my nipples will not be exposed and go into the review. So, the material of the actual shirt is pretty nice, if not a bit thicker than what you would expect. So, we have that going. There we go. Oh yeah. So it does have a thicker material, so it's still breathable. It's just, it's comfortable. Don't get me wrong, this is a very comfortable material, but compared to, say, my true spec, material is a bit rougher, but far thinner, and able it to breathe a lot better. So, <laughs> so the whole reason this is happening is because Redbeard, the demon of Ogimi, still has my cry precision <laughs> G3 fucking uh, Ranger Green combat shirt since March time frame ish, and it's currently September, so it's not in yet. I'm still waiting on it. In the meantime, we're gonna troll. So now the reasons this is better than Multicam. <laughs> I mean, Multicam is cool, although it does get a bad rap for its uh, fanboy guilds. But, oh, look. Oh, well, this has a double pocket, so that's pretty cool. I think that's common with the G3 combat shirt. I would know if I had one. It's got a double pocket, so you can uh, double this up. And you got your double patch space, which is cool. The Velcro is incredibly rough and single stitch, so don't hold too much faith in single stitch jobs. But then again, it's like a, it's like a $25 combat shirt. Uh, I don't know what you want from me. It's comfortable. It's got this breathable armpit thing, which I think is pretty cool instead of staying into uh, full sleeves. Better breathability, I'd say, at the cost of durability. But when I say the word durability, it made in China, so don't take it too seriously. And uh, yeah, so with that taken care of, let's get a plate carrier on. Ugh. Because we might as well take our cheap Chinese made shirt and go all in with more expensive, sufficiently more expensive gear. Button that there. All right. So this is how it looks with a plate carrier. Let's get our collar up here to uh, protect our neck from brass. And uh, things that actually, I'm curious how this looks. This is pretty awesome. I'm enjoying the hell out of this, by the way. You got breathability, rolled sleeves. There are the uh, Velcros up front in the, uh, and there's a pocket to put any sort of a padding in for your elbows if you so choose. Yeah, so now we've got it with a plate carrier. So we're up armored, and we're more than invincible against six millimeter BBs, because first, they got they gotta find us more than us, and then they've gotta be able to get past the sexy nature of our basic white girl uh, patterns here. We're gonna don an actual Mitch ballistic helmet, because we're gonna go all in. See, that's, uh, that's, okay, I see what's going on. So my, uh, I'm wearing just a pair of shorts right now, because you can't see my waist anyway, and it's hot, so. Oh yeah, so this is, this is the future of battle, right? Let me get the, let me get the, <laughs> oh, let me get the SR-16. Oh. So is this not the sexiest you've ever seen in the world? Oh my god. Go, <laughs> go slay bodies with leopard print. But yeah, no one's gonna be able to shoot you, because you're just too damn beautiful in the end. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, we're gonna be running around with this combat shirt. And the, the, the times you do see my sleeves in the uh, camera, they're gonna look goddamn amazing. And we're gonna go murder people in leopard print. Or at least tag people six below your BBs. <laughs> oh man, I bet this thing's gonna be hot as balls though, because it's a cheaper material. It's actually pretty hot. Uh, more or less the, probably the undershirt to be honest, but yeah. So it's comfy. A full neck armor is good, especially airsoft wise, or you probably don't want to get pinked in the neck. Then we'll throw on the faceplate, the, face the uh, sword and 
and yeah, some actual ballistic goggles, and we'll be rocking out like a cheetah. I'll be like, meow. We'll be right up and like, meow, and they'll die instantly because that's the power of the Japanese karate, Neko Uchi. So now you know, and you now know that this is a thing that. You could be wearing, but you're not. I mean, you could. We could do a little. You look at look at your uniform. Look to my uniform. Look back at your uniform. Sadly, your uniform is not my uniform. This is what we have to live with. So, yeah. So, what is it? September 10th in four days. If you're going to be down at uh, Okinawa Airsoft Park, I should be more than easy to spot. I mean, we don't just need this anymore. I can virtually guarantee you, no one else will be wearing this sexy uniform. But yeah. So this isn't really a review, it's more of just me showing you what terrible, terrible things I'm doing to have fun. Uh, so yeah, comfy. Actually, it's pretty comfy. Like, for 20 bucks, not bad at all. What the hell is this? <gasps> it's like... Okay, so... Discovery. There's not one on this side, is there? There's a weird pen holder thing flap that's just off on the corner pocket here so something to be aware of so yeah ultimate sexy uniform i would say get yours but from what i saw last they only have extra large left so i'm not gonna take this off just yet so yeah there you go super super sexy uniform and i will uh see you guys on the 10th so we can uh, go shoot some BBs and grenades at people because it's going to be fun. So stay chivalrous everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Meow.